Hello everyone, in our daily lives we use trams or trains for our transportation. Of course, you know that these transportation means are run over fixed tracks that mainly consist of rails fastened to sleepers. The rails have a certain shape and are produced with a certain manufacturing process to possess the required properties to withstand the heavy load of the trains. The rails have this shape, but why? Let us explain. The rail is quite thick at the top, where the wheel rides on it. And the wheel has a rim on the side, which is called a flange. It ensures that the wheel doesn't slip off the rail. At the bottom, the rail is quite flat and wide. That's so it can stand on the sleepers without vibrating. While the rail is fastened to the sleepers with clips. It's all very stable. And it has to be because many trams or trains run on these rails every day. The question now is how these rails are produced. The story starts with these steel blooms. They are quite heavy. One steel bloom weighs about as much as a small truck. These steel blooms are first stored here. Then the steel blooms are transported further over these rollers. They go to a large furnace, where they are heated above the recrystallization temperature of the steel. This temperature is 1200 degrees Celsius. When the steel blooms glow red, they come out at the other end. You can see scales on the steel blooms formed due to the hot material reaction with the oxygen in the air. These scales need to be removed first. This happens right next to the oven. The scales are sprayed off with a water jet. So, a clean, red-hot steel bloom comes out. It then rolls over here. The steel bloom is turned over and must then go through this roller. The water cools the rollers so they don't get too hot. The steel bloom rolls back, and during the rolling, it becomes flatter and longer. Once again, a third time. Now this steel bloom is already quite long. But what exactly happens at these rollers? This can be well demonstrated with such a small lead block. Squares are drawn on this block. We have another lead block that is exactly the same. This lead block is rolled. We use lead as it doesn't need to be heated. The block is gradually rolled thinner. That was the first time. The rollers are now a bit closer together and they make the block even thinner. This must be done step by step, otherwise, the block would break. The block gets thinner and not only that, it also becomes longer. Here is the rolled plate long block for comparison with the second block next to it. That's what the block looked like at the beginning. Quite a difference. Now back to the glowing steel bloom. It has now reached a certain length and is ready to be rolled into the right shape. That happens here. So once again, the water cool rollers. The steel bloom runs through, gets longer when rolling, and simultaneously obtains a slightly different shape. You can see that quite well. It gets a notch at the top. And with each pass, this steel bloom is deformed a bit more. This is how it looks at the beginning. Then it gets that notch at the top. And this notch gets wider with each pass. So, what's it supposed to be? In the end, the steel bloom looks like a T. And that's how it comes out. This hot steel bloom is pushed to the next roller with these grippers and it runs through there again. Here in the roller, the shaped steel bloom is changed to the rail shape. After three passes, it looks like this. 
the glowing steel rail has now become really long. About 120 meters long. To cool it, the rolled steel rail runs over these rollers to these grippers. That push this steel rail to many other steel rails. Here they cool down, and you can also see quite well what it is. It's a railway rail, still glowing a bit. These rails are still quite distorted. They first need to be straightened, and that happens here. First, the rail is grabbed and turned over. And then the rail runs through these heavy wheels. That bend the rail first down. And then up. And then down again. Until the rail is straight. This is called straightening. The rail gets straighter and straighter. All 120 meters of the rail have to go through there. At the end, the rail is also straightened sideways. Once more to the right, and now the rail is really straight. After finishing the production, the rails are collected together in bundles and prepared for shipping. Here the manufacturing of the steel rails is explained. To learn more about how to fabricate different stuff follow the Al Jazari channel. If you did not do yet subscribe and activate the notification bell. If you find this video helpful give it thumbs up and share it with whom may be interested. If you have any queries or you need a video for a certain topic please comment. Goodbye.